There is nothing I love more than an amazing meal with high quality meat cooked at home because let's be honest, eating out is so expensive. And you also know that eating out is the number one budget buster. That is why I am so glad I found ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat subscription service dedicated to delivering high quality, grass fed, and grass finished beef, organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep with free shipping always. You even get exclusive member deals, recipes, and a variety of high-quality cuts at an amazing price. New users will receive their choice of two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken thighs, or one pound of premium steak tips for a year. Use code ETM and get $20 off your first box at butcherbox.com. Last night, we made a beef stew with meat from ButcherBox, and you can taste the difference. It was so satisfying and delicious. And all of our friends that were over for a dinner party, they raved at how good it was. So do yourself a favor and eat better this year with the best meat and seafood on the planet delivered to your door. ButcherBox is offering my listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips, for free in every order for a year. Plus, get $20 off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash etm and use code etm to choose your free offer and get $20 off. When it comes to financial advice, you got to trust the source. It's why you listen to this podcast. When I'm looking to upgrade my wallet, I turn to NerdWallet. Their expert team of nerds dives into the details to help you find smarter financial products. Before NerdWallet, I was paying for vacations all wrong. (laughs) I was missing out on miles. I didn't even know I was leaving on the table. Now I've got a new card with more miles and more upgrades. What could future you do with more travel rewards? I don't know, maybe that fancy hotel upgrade that you have always been dreaming about. Wherever you go next, make it happen with a smarter travel credit card. Don't wait to make smart financial decisions. Compare and find smarter credit cards, savings accounts, and more today at nerdwallet.com. NerdWallet. Finance smarter. As with all cards, credit is subject to lender approval and terms apply. I'm Shauna Compton Game. This is Millennial Money. And today we're talking, you are killing us, Equifax. Millennial Money with Shauna Compton Game. It will expand your brain. That's it. I am writing a breakup letter with Equifax. I am so tired of hearing more and more news about their breach. First, it came out that there was, you know, a certain amount of millions of customers that were breached. And then somehow that number got all the way up to 145 million. That's a lot of people. And then last week, at the end of last week, there was another report that there may have been another breach with Equifax. Now, supposedly it was not another breach and you know that ended up getting kind of squashed but it sent the financial community just reeling because i mean it was like when is the end of this you know and i think that it's really hard to understand the impact of this if you're just kind of the average consumer right But there are three main credit bureaus. There are a couple outliers, but there are three main bureaus. And when one of them has had a breach of magnitude that Equifax has, it really, it's just like all of us walking outside naked and going about our day. It's a huge deal. And it really begs the question, are we... Are we safe anywhere with our credit? Because, you know, we're not going backwards. We're not going to a cash society, right? We are fully immersed in a cashless society. We've got apps. We've got digital pay. You know, we've, we've got credit cards. We've got so many different ways that we, you know, access credit throughout the day that we are literally, I think, all just like sitting ducks waiting for, you know, our information to get hacked. We may have been one of the Equifax hacked accounts. You know, it's really hard to tell because 
hackers tend to sit on your information for quite a while before they actually do anything. And so that that puts you in the place where, you know, think even like three months from now, right? You probably will have forgotten about the Equifax because there'll be something other that has come up, right, in the news that that grabs your attention. And I think it's really interesting even because when you know, the Equifax breach first happened, and I talked about this on a podcast, you know, a couple weeks ago, it was right when the hurricane happened. And so it kind of got buried. And I think a lot of people didn't really pay attention to it. Because again, I think, I don't think that people really understand the impact of a credit bureau. It's not like, you know, Target or Sonic or those other breaches. I mean, a credit bureau has access to all of your credit information linked to your social security number. Every credit card, every loan, uh, student loan, you name it, mortgage, right? And it's all your information, your name, your date of birth, your addresses, where you've worked, you know, it, it is all of that really sensitive information. And it freaks people out and it should freak you out. You know, it should it should get you pissed off. And I am, that's why I'm pissed off at Equifax because it's like, when is enough? And Matt Schultz from creditcards.com, their senior industry analyst, we had him on the podcast a couple of weeks ago and he sent me over a few quotes after this supposed breach had happened again. And he said, you know, the new announcement from Equifax is just reason number 10,000 why consumers should assume their personal information is already out there and act accordingly. They said assume. It's not like, well, if, if, if it might happen to you one day. No, you should just assume, he's saying, that your information is already out there. It's a scary thing to wrap your brain around, but the truth is you're better off assuming the worst and taking steps to protect yourself. He says, take advantage of free credit reports from annualcreditreport.com, but also know that Americans have never had more access to credit scores and reports like they do today. And that is really true. You know, uh, credit cards that you have, you know, on your statement, a lot of the credit cards now are having your credit scores on the statement. They don't give you all the details, so you're not going to find out all the information that you would from a credit report. But what you can see is, you know, if your credit score starts tanking one month, well, then you know there's something going on behind the scenes. Uh, Places like creditcards.com have a score and report that gives you, you know, regular access to your credit score and your credit report. And the cool thing is that a lot of these tools now are free. It used to be if we wanted to get access to our credit information on a regular basis, we would have to pay you know, and it's not a huge amount of money, but you know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, it's something, right? And then they loop you into these deals. And before you know it, you're paying like 12 bucks every month for something that you could just get for free. So, you know, don't pay for your credit report if you don't have to. There's Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, CreditCards.com, NerdWallet has one. Uh, so many different places now have your credit score. But, you know, I think this was just this was just another, I don't know, it felt like another blow, right? Like you already knocked me down and now you're going to, you know, you're going to do like the final, you know, knockout blow, right? So like we can't get back up again. And the news of a potential another breach with Equifax, it sent shares of the credit reporting company's stock sinking. So Thursday, it, it closed down about 1.69% when they were supposedly investigating the breach. And then in the late afternoon, a spokesman said that Equifax can confirm that its systems were not compromised and that the reported issue did not affect our consumer online dispute portal. Okay, but my thing is, do I believe you? I don't know what to believe anymore. I mean, you're you're not being nice to me. And so I just don't trust what's going on. And it's not like a credit card company, right? I can't break up with a a credit, a credit bureau. I mean, it's a credit bureau. It's where all the stuff reports to. 
I could put a freeze on my account. Sure. And a lot of people have done it and it may not be, you know, a dumb move. I mean, Equifax at first was coming out and saying, oh, it's going to cost you the regular 10 bucks. And then clearly they got a a lot of backlash from people and went, oh, wait, just kidding. Just kidding. We're going to do it for free now. You know, so if you're thinking about freezing your account, make sure you freeze it while, you know, they don't have that, that fee in place. But, uh, you know, it it was a, it was a assistance link on their website that was kind of causing this. And so out of caution, they temporarily took down the page and, you know, again, supposedly said there was indeed no breach at all, but there had been so many news reports that already come out about it that now they're having to backtrack, right? And people are just blowing up all over the place, especially in the financial industry uh, that I'm in, right and left with like, you're kidding me. Like again, you you would think that after 145.5 million poor people had their information breached, that they would be doing everything to try to counteract something happening again in the future. And I know, look, these hackers are so sophisticated. Um, I mean, I just watched something a couple of weeks ago. I think it was on 60 Minutes or CNN. I can't remember which one. And they actually went into um, hackers office, if you will, in Russia. And they were talking to them about, you know, how sophisticated their hacking is is over there. And um, it was, it was crazy. You know, I mean, they have hacker conferences over there where they have games around how fast can you hack certain things. So, I mean, this is a very real threat and, you know, people are making a lot of money off of hacking, a a lot, a lot of money. So obviously it's going to become super lucrative for a lot of people. And if it's not just happening in Russia, I'm not just saying it's just a Russian thing. Um, You know, this is, this is happening all around the world. It's happening in the United States. Uh, But it was just a really interesting piece to, uh, to kind of hear about like the sophistication and what's going on and then how much money is really in this. I mean, I was like, wow, yeah, maybe, maybe a lot of people are thinking like, you know, that's a very viable way to take care of my family. And if you're, if you're smart, if you're, you know, really good at IT and, uh, you can hack into things, I mean, they they make it seem, uh, pretty compelling. So the question is, you know, what can you do? And, and we've, we've talked to a lot of experts and we've asked this question and we've, we've kind of pondered this on other podcasts before. And, you know, I'm going to repeat some of the same things because I'm getting a lot of questions about this and it feels like a lot of you are not sure what to think about it or what to do about it. Financial anxiety, anyone? Yeah, you're not alone. But worrying about it, it doesn't help. Earnin does. Earnin is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. You just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck. Then you can access up to $100 per day as you work and leave an additional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. So, how would you spend the money you get from Earnin? Well, Honestly, my hubby and I have been feeling a little bit disconnected lately. That's what happens after you've been together about 12 years. So I would spend the money on a special date night with dinner and maybe bowling, you know, to bring back some of that giggly excitement that we both felt at the beginning. Make Earnin a part of your financial routine and join Earnin's over three and a half million customers who say things like, when I think about Earnin, I think about financial stability, security, gives me a lot of peace of mind. Download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earnin app, type in Talkin, T-A-L-K-A-N, money under podcast when you sign up. It will really help the show. Talkin money under podcast. Subject to your available earnings, location, daily max, and pay period max. See earnin.com slash T-O-S for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, right? 
For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. Listen, if you've been using Mint to manage your money, I have got some news for you. First, the bad news. As you might know, Mint is shutting down for good. But the good news... Well, there is a way better alternative that is a personal favorite of mine, Monarch Money. And I'm not the only lover of Monarch Money. Many Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and just raving about it. I used to manage my money with an Excel spreadsheet. I know, so archaic. And it was so time consuming. I tried all of the apps, but I just didn't find one I liked until I found Monarch. And I've got to tell you a secret. Monarch is so easy to use with a very intuitive design. You can even collaborate with your partner and you can customize Monarch for whatever your needs are. Monarch is the top rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com etm. Let's go back to the collaboration bit. Because we know money is a leading cause of divorce and breakups, Monarch has built in collaboration features so you can invite your partner at no extra cost. You can see all your finances, make a budget together, get insights on your cash. Yes, cue the confetti. There will literally not be any more arguments over money. And if you've been frustrated with personal finance apps that are cluttered with ads, difficult to use, or rarely updated, so was Monarch. They built a new kind of personal finance app that's intuitive and powerful ad-free, and constantly improving based on customer feedback. Monarch has a tool that allows you as well to easily import your data from Mint. You can keep all of your tags and all of your categories. After trying Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. That's M-O-N-A-R-C-H-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash etm for your extended 30-day free trial. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom. Like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, right? For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. And of course, you know, you've got to safeguard your social security number. It's really like your financial DNA. And it is the number that is attached to every piece of credit or loan that you get, right? It's unique to you. And that's why your score is unique to you. You could have, you know, a husband and wife that have the exact same credit cards, exact same loans, and they have two completely different credit scores. So there are so many different factors that make up your credit score. And that's what makes it unique to you, right? Uh, I had a client a couple years ago that was trying to buy a house and they went to a mortgage broker to get pre-approved. And the mortgage broker came back and said, you know, this is strange. I thought you told me you have never bought a house before. And she was like, well, I haven't ever bought a house before. And he's like, well, on your credit report, it says that you own a home in Idaho And that home is actually getting foreclosed. And she was like, what? And he told her her credit score. And she's like, no, 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 that's not possible. I pay all my bills all the time. I have, you know, a line of credit and blah, 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 you know, all these things. And he's like, well, it's right here. So digging and digging, digging, what we found was somebody had uh, hacked her information, gotten her social security number, had actually bought a house in in her name in Idaho, she had absolutely no idea because she'd never been checking her credit score. She had not bought anything in that period of time. So she really had, you know, not like she'd been denied for a car loan or a credit card or anything like that. You know, she, she had no idea. And, um, so it took about nine months to get the whole thing straightened out, to get it off her credit report, to prove that it was not her that indeed bought the house and to get her credit score back up in a range where then she could actually buy the house that she wanted to. So, I mean, again, that's like a super extreme example, but it just proves that this stuff happens and it can be like really minor things. You know, it doesn't have to be, uh, 
you know, big things like buying a house. In fact, you know, a lot of experts have told me that hackers uh, look for, the, or, or I guess I should say their strategy is they'll try and do like one to five dollar charges on like your debit account or your bank account, something like that, your credit card even. And then they're they're waiting to see if you notice. And if you don't notice, then they go in for a much larger amount. So even just checking your bank statements or your monthly uh, credit card statements and looking for those like weird charges are steps that you can take where you can at least maybe slightly proactive in looking for, you know, hackers or hacks against your account. Another thing is, you know, we get a million and one emails a day, or at least I do, I don't know about you, but (laughs) it's super frustrating. And there's always those emails that come from uh, banks and credit card companies and things like that, that are accounts that you already use, right? And they look completely legitimate, like identical to what you think an email would look like from your bank account. But they're not, right? They're phishing scams and they're waiting for you to click on the link that's in there so they can then access your computer, which then they can access your data and, you know, so on and so forth. So if you get any emails like that or you get weird phone calls, they don't even have to be, they don't have to be weird, but, you know, from your bank or from your credit card company, don't ever give that person information or don't click on the link. Call the 800 number from either your bank or your debit card or your credit card company and confirm with them first that it is actually them and not one of these phishing scams. And I know it's it's super easy because we're so busy and like we see an email come through, especially if we're on our phone because you can't really always see detail really well on your phone. So you're more apt to just click on something and then, you know, it's it's all downhill from there. So just be really careful for that. Uh, and if, again, if you notice anything fishy, contact the bureaus right away. Again, with Equifax, it's like, well, is that even going to matter? Yes, you still need to contact them. And, you know, you can do that credit freeze. So what the freeze means is literally just what it sounds like. They freeze your credit. So you can't you know, go out and apply for that new washer dryer or a new car or anything like that without unfreezing your credit. So it literally is just, you know, putting it in the freezer, locking it up. And so the idea is that, you know, a hacker or, you know, one of the bad guys can't come in and access your uh, your credit, right? But you can't either. So you always have to remember that you need to unfreeze it then when you want to go uh, and buy something or get a new loan or student loan or car loan or mortgage or whatever that may be. And especially if you're traveling overseas, be really careful and cautious. We have traveled to Europe about five times or so in the last couple of years. Every single time, we get our credit card number stolen or some unauthorized charge on our credit card. Now, luckily, credit cards are brilliant at calling you, removing that charge. You know, they're just, they're really great about that. But if you're using your debit card, it doesn't work quite that way. It could take a while before you prove that it wasn't you, they do the investigation, and then they put the money back into your account. So like if you're traveling overseas and somebody hacks your, your, your debit, your bank account, and you know, removes virtually all the money that's in there, it could really leave you in a sticky situation until that money is put back in there. So it's like reason number five zillion why if you're traveling, use a credit card, be smart with that credit card, pay it off, you know, all of those things. But there are a lot of protections with a credit card when it comes to, you know, if if it's lost, if it's stolen, or if it's hacked for sure. Uh, and rental cars too. That's another place where using a credit card is really beneficial because your credit card has um, a lot of them have coverage now. If um, you know you have damage or you know something happens to your rental car, a lot of the credit cards now are providing coverage for that. Where your debit card is nothing has has nothing. So just something for you to think about. And I think you know. Lastly. And, and I know I've said this a million times, of course, but 
there's no true way to really avoid getting hacked. You just have to be on the lookout. So if you haven't checked your credit, if you've thought, well, this Equifax thing, it's not, it's not, it did not happen to me. It's not going to happen to me. I beg you to not think that way and to be really proactive. Again, there are so many apps that you can use that makes checking your credit, looking at what's going on with your credit score so ridiculously easy. But if you don't want to use that, if that feels too fishy to you, Annual Credit Report is a great place to go. You get a free credit report from each of the different bureaus. You don't get your credit score, so you're not going to actually see what your score is unless you pay for it. But again, don't pay for it. Um, But you can actually look through your credit report and see what's going on. And what you're looking for is, are these all my accounts? Is this information accurate, right? Because a lot of times, you know, a hacker could hack your identity and that account could be in good standing. So if you're just looking through your credit report and you're like, yep, 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 everything's good, everything's good, everything's good, but you're not actually looking at it, you can't spot if there's something weird that's on there. And the cool thing is nowadays you can just click a button when you're in your credit report if you want to dispute something and you don't get an instant answer, but you know it, it's much easier now to do it that way to dispute something. Um, but the moral of the story is that we all should be alarmed that places like credit bureaus, the IRS, you know, all of these big institutions are getting hacked because all of these places have all of our information. And again, we are all just kind of sitting ducks out there. So the best we can do is just be really proactive when we hear like a breach like this comes up. Maybe it's just a reminder to kind of jog you out of the place of like complacency and remind you like, hey, I should actually check my credit score. And when you check your own credit score, it does not count against you, right? Checking your own credit score is what's called a soft check. So it's not going to hurt your credit score. In fact, it's going to help you because again, you're going to be able to notice when some weird things come up. So Equifax, you're killing me. I want to break up with you, but I can't break up with you because you are one of the three main credit bureaus. As always, if you love this podcast, do me a favor, please share it with your friends, shout it out. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Shauna Game. Hi, this is Elton John here. Throughout my U.S. tour last year, we heard from thousands of fans that financial security and financial planning are hugely important to them. So important that David and I are continuing this vital conversation into 2023. Together with the Alliance for Lifetime Income, I'm spreading the word about the importance of protected income, which is money you're guaranteed to get. Like me, I'm sure you have big plans for your next chapter. Protected income from an annuity helps ensure you have all your bases covered so you can have the financial freedom to tick off your bucket list. The first step is to decide what's on your bucket list. Then meet with your financial advisor to ask if you have protected income and get their help making a plan that fits your unique financial goals. Join me and my friends at the Alliance for Lifetime Income. Together, we can help make financial freedom in retirement a reality for more Americans, starting with you. Go to protectedincome.org today.